And finally, this year, we go racing. We're going racing in an RV. Once again, Dogstrip scrapes the bottom of the barrel on Craigslist. This time, finding the cheapest motorhome we could. In this video, we prepare the RV for hit to pass racing. This means destructive weight loss. What are we doing today? We're going to go pick up an RV. An RV, that's right. We've done things little, now we're doing things big. Everything we have done in the past has been tiny. This time, we go big. Now what we gotta do is cut in half and take about five feet out of the middle of it. No, 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 no. After jumping on a good deal, we look over our 1979 Dodge. It was clear the RV was past its prime. The roof was rotten and most of the walls moved when pushed on but at the heart of the beast thumped the 360. With a four barrel thermoquad, not in the best of health, but still worthy of another kick at the can. Rather uneventful. You say that now. We have no idea how accurate the gas gauge is or how old the gas is. So we're throwing some in and uh, gotta love the vintage locking gas cap. I think this is a gas tank. With the RV fueled up, we do a lap around the burn before hitting the road. We have a three hour trip ahead of us toward the racetrack, but first we must stop along the way and take care of some business. So far so good. Nothing's falling off, a lot of things are rattling. It smells like old gas. Now we're taking it straight to a dump. Hopefully, if we can uh, strip it out in the parking lot, we can get rid of some all this rotten wood you know, weight reduction. That's racing pedigree, right? Let's do this. Luckily, the landfill was a short trip away. We found ourselves a quiet little spot and quickly set to work. It would be a lie if we said we were not looking forward to this part. Okay, here we are, starting the demolition at the landfill, where most of this RV belongs. <laughs> We found money. Money's good. I like money. I seem to have a lack of it. What have you done? Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Smash good. And now the RV was about 400 pounds lighter with less mold. Getting on the move again, we head toward the racetrack, be it the last time the motorhome was going to be on public streets. At this point, we leave the RV at the racetrack, coming back a week later to finish off her diet plan. It's all just me in here. Okay, main tank is 
out of gas. And actually, the auxiliary is full of gas. It's very skanky and old, but uh, whatever. We'll burn it. Very good here. Now, we removed the main fuel tank. We thought it was empty. Unknowingly, it still had over 80 liters of gasoline hidden within. <laughs> we were happy with the progress that was made. After cleaning up our work area, we leave the RV and start the three hour trip home. In the next dog strip, we head back to the racetrack. This time, with a new bumper, roll cage, seat, and various other safety components. Building up the RV for its date of destruction. Its reckless rally on the racetrack. For its debut in Hit to Pass Racing. Are you my mummy? Are you my mummy? Are you my mummy? Mummy! 